Just, th it's there's true. A, there's Look, a, there's it's time for people to think. That's my biggest thing, man. Yeah, people think we're shooting through the universe at a million miles an hour. And spinning in a circle. And, and gravitating and going, around something. And, and going. And um, the whole thing, with, without gravity, that heliocentric model, that mainstream model falls apart. Gravity is what holds everything together. Now think about this. If people ask, like, uh, they say, well, a, a children will ask this. Well, if the earth is spinning at, at a thousand miles an hour, why aren't the oceans being flinged off? And the answer is gravity is holding the Gravity ocean. is a wild yeah, taffy. Yeah, gravity is holding oceans to it, right? Yeah. Gravity is holding skyscrapers. Otherwise, skyscrapers would fling off. Oceans yeah. would fling off, yeah. right? If this force is so strong, it's so strong that it's holding oceans to it. How come it doesn't fuck with a helium balloon? Is a helium balloon, is that anti-gravity? Yes. Yeah, no, question. what it is, is the other, the, the conspiracy theory with uh, gravity is that, and I didn't make this up, gravity has never been proven, it's never been measured. Isaac Newton came up with it, and it, it, it doesn't hold water, literally. Um, uh, if if, if um, the reason why a, a helium balloon rises and doesn't get stuck to the ground is because helium is less dense than the air around So you think it. it's just our weight, it's, it's not gravity. It's density and buoyancy. Think about it, you throw a rock into the ocean, it sinks to the ground. You throw a tennis ball into the ocean, it just floats. Yeah. Because the air inside that tennis ball is less dense than the water. Anything that's less dense goes up. Anything that's uh, more dense than the medium that holds it sinks. So it's a density holding It's a density down. thing. How come, how come, if you, if, th think about this. But well, what well, creates well, density? The force on it, right? The gravity. What what was the question? Like what creates like density? Like what makes one thing dense and one thing? Well, what I'm saying is, I'm no scientist. I right. don't know, but I'm just as a, right, as just a common thinking. man. Yeah. I'm thinking why you would think like a 250 pound man say you know Ray Lewis is. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Football would player. it be easier for him to hold a baby stuck to the ground or another 250 pound man? The what baby. Would be? Yes, that's common sense, right? Yeah. He's got all this force against a baby. Gravity is, has the force to hold oceans stuck to it, mm -hmm. yet it can't hold a butterfly stuck to it. The butterfly, we should be stuck to the fucking ground like, a, like some kind of magnet, mm. but yet we're not. But oceans are being held, and if gravity is holding oceans to it, then there must be, gravity must be fighting the inertia mm -hmm. of that 1,000 mile an hour spin. Right. So there's a battle between the inertia flinging the water off, and the gravity holding it together. You would think where, sometimes some where, water would zip yeah, off. Where, 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 or a little... Uh, Maybe a splash where, would Where is you. there evidence of this, this uh, battle. battle between the inertia and the gravity? There is no battle. There should, it should be like the ocean should be like leaning to one side kind of all the time, you know, kind it's of doing simple. something. too simple. Yeah. And, and water, you can't find... It, it, if we were truly a ball mm -hmm. with a circumference of 25,000 miles an hour, mm -hmm. or uh, uh, 25,000 um, miles, sorry. You got to lead us, though, man. Yeah, but but if if it, it's true, then the, the ball should bend at 6,000 feet per every 100 miles. So we should be able to measure the curve of oceans. Every 100 miles, there should be 6,000 6, feet of curvature. Yet, you could go on YouTube and hear... Um, there's a there's a video on a uh, a, Na a U.S. Navy quartermaster. Mm -hmm. He's a quartermaster. He works on like fucking battleships, and he says you can go on YouTube. Just YouTube U.S. Naval quartermaster, and he explains. He goes, there's no way there could be six thousand feet of curvature at a hundred miles because they're targeting and imaging. Uh, uh, ships mm -hmm. at 100 miles. Mm -hmm. It would be impossible if there was a 6,000 feet curve. Right. There was no, there'd be no way they could target Shoot it. Shoot it. There should be 6,000 feet of curvature at 100 miles. So, yeah, um, that is it. Yeah. And then if, if the world is a ball with, at, with a circumference of 25,000 miles, then every 100 miles there should be 6,000 feet of dip. And, and there isn't. And, and also, when you're on a plane, you should be, every five minutes, you should be dipping. Dip in the nose. Dip in the nose. To stay otherwise, within it. Otherwise, you just go right into space. Yeah. But they never dip their nose. They just, they're just hovering over a plane. Yeah. 
at the they're just keeping there's so many there's it's it, the dark it go, arts, goes man. on forever yeah. and the crazy thing is there's websites out there that, like have you heard of the flat earth society mm -mm. the flat earth society is where uh, like obama is directing everybody he brings mm. it up because this is not a meeting of the flat earth society so he's sending everybody to the flat uh, earth society which is a bunk website yeah. nobody that's a true flat earther has gone through uh, they bypass the flatter society because right. if you're first, it's a trap. if yeah, exactly. If your first introduction to the flat Earth, like you're curious, like everyone keeps talking about the flat Earth, and then you hear about flatter society because they 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 pump that up. They want to send you there. You go and you 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 punch in flat Earth on Google. If you punch in flat Earth on Google right now, the first thing's going to come up is the flat Earth Wikipedia, mm -hmm. which is all controlled and it, it, it looks ridiculous. And then the flat Earth society is right there. It's going to direct flat Earth society on the first page all over the place. Mm -hmm. So. If you go to Flat Earth Society first, you're never going to believe fucked. in Flat Yeah, because right. they're, they're going to say... that's where they want to send you first. And so so you got to still away. think for yourself. You cannot take you exactly gotta, you what know, you're said curious, out there. If you got to be wild. If you're curious about Flat Earth, there's a lot of people out there. That, that, there's a lot of great information. The YouTube channel, Beyond the Imaginary Curve, great shit. Eric Dubay's YouTube channel, great shit. We'll put those some of those first, links in. Yeah, the great, great shit. Um, 